Came to get my things. I thought the house was empty. Of course you did. I didn't come here to make trouble, but I can. No, why should you make any more now when you've already done so much damage? Why don't I come back when it's not so stuffy in here? You have destroyed whatever good feelings there were in this house, Olivia. Alan and Philip hate each other now, and so if you're getting what you want, you must be absolutely thrilled. I'm not thrilled with anything I've done lately. Between Alan and Philip, one of them hates me, and the other one is probably well on his way. As it should be. You go ahead and play me some more. You enjoy it while you can. What am I supposed to do? Feel sorry for you? You're nothing but a walking disaster, masquerading as a human being. This from she who can do no wrong. What I've done, I've done for my family, not for myself. Oh, please, you took, you took Spaulding away from Alan. You, you almost put him out to pasture. You attacked Philip for, for trusting his instincts as a father, yet you have been so noble. I've cared for Alan and Philip for as long as they have been father and son. And to see them right now, such bitter enemies, is almost too much to bear. You can blame me for a lot of things, but they've always had their issues. No issues, yes, but you may have driven an absolutely permanent wedge I don't them. believe that. What do you know? A woman who begged me to believe that her love for Alan was real. How huh? begged me to believe her, period. Whose every word out of her mouth has been a lie. All right, all right, you know what? I admit I made a horrible mess out of things, and I have come between Alan and Philip, but I didn't do it for money or power. I fell in love. Oh, love, I forgot love. I'm not going to apologize for that, Alexandra. It just happened. Oh, really? What? Out of the blue? Yes. Maybe it's been a long time since you fell in love, or maybe it's never happened to you. I don't really know. I just know you can't fake it or deny it when it hits. I found that out the hard way. Oh, so, well, none of this is your fault, then. What is this, a mixed-up jumble of hormones and chemistry? Hmm? And I'm blaming you for something of just nature at work? Here, please forgive me. You know, maybe one day you'll understand something, and you won't hate me quite so much. <laughs> you know, I'm not even thinking about you, Olivia. With any luck at all, you'll be gone soon. I'm just hoping that Alan and Philip can get past this. If that's at all possible. Mr. Spaulding just called from the hospital. The little boy's been hit by a car. Little boy? Philip's son, Zach. Oh, my God. Oh, no, don't. No, he must be worried. You Philip. stay right here, because all you're going to do is cause more trouble the lawyer you bring the car around. 